So let me tell you, in this offer, which is called um, Pasture Pride Usto, 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 Usto baked cheese. Here's what you're going to be getting, and you're going to be getting a total of six six-ounce packages of this unique cheese. Two of them are just your original. Two of them are your Usto with bacon crumbles, and two of them are in an Italian flavor blend. You're getting all of this, as you can see, for thirty-nine dollars and change, free shipping and handling. But tell everybody this unique recipe, two hundred years yeah, old. You were telling this is me, so fun. From Finland. Yeah, it Usto. originated and is yeah. still beloved cool. in Finland, but it was brought over to Wisconsin by a third generation cheesemaker. They wanted to make it for the American audience, and it has taken off like wildfire. Very special. It's whole milk cheese that you grill and you serve warm. Wow. You serve it warm. It's buttery and it's melty. It has an incredible texture. It's caramelized and toasted on the outside, which is part of the process, all being made handmade. But when you try it and you taste it, it's unlike anything you've ever had before. Nice, warm, squeaky cheese. And the squeaky, <laughs> it really is. Like, when you're biting on it, there is this funny little squeak. Yeah. It's a firmer cheese, mm -hmm. but it still has a softness to it. Yes. And delicious flavor. Yes. I mean, if you love cheese, let me just tell you, <laughs> biggest weakness in my life, biggest, is cheese. Yeah. I, I love, love cheese. cheese. Any kind of cheese you can give me, except for blue cheese. I'm not a blue cheese girl. But the sharper, the tangier, I like the soft cheeses, I like the firm cheeses, I like cheese with a bite. This is so cool to put out as appetizers, to just do something different in the afternoon, to serve with a dinner. Mm -hmm. You were saying soup, salad, and some usto. Yeah, right? some crusty bread. Mm. Let me tell you what makes this so special. Yeah. Look at the way we have it on a griddle. This is probably the best way to do it. If you don't have a griddle, start with a cold skillet. Okay. You want to go low and slow because the secret is this is a whole milk cheese. All of the glistening that you see on here is the butter fat rising. Mm. You'll also see that even though it's nice and warm, it's not oozing yes. like a typical kind of cheese. It really holds together very nicely. Three different flavors. The Italian right here, it's like the top of the pizza. It's like all of oh that cheese you grab off the pizza or off the box that everybody wants with mm. those Italian spices stirred into it. Mm. And warm, it's delicious. And then Dip in that the in marinara sauce. I mean, that's Fabulous. like a cool little new appetizer. You have to tell me about this bacon. And then the one in the middle, bacon. It's actually homemade farm fresh bacon that's stirred what? into that traditional whole milk recipe. Oh gosh, so you've got that warm texture, buttery cheese with bacon. Yeah, look at, can you see here on my in little there. piece? You can see all of that bacon, bacon inside of this bite. Look. All right, ready? I'm going in. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah, and everybody who has it, and tries it for the first time is like, where did this come from? From Finland, 200 years ago. And then finally, the traditional recipe down here at the bottom, all of them lend themselves perfectly by themselves, but yeah. all different kinds of things you can do with them as well. I have to tell you, you might look at this and be like, that is one of the most unusual things I've ever seen. <laughs> How could that be good? Don't just trust me. Um, go on to QVC.com and read the reviews because there are oodles of Usto five-star reviews for this Pasture Pride Uzo Baked Cheese assortment. When you get it at home, it's going to come in on dry ice. Yep. You're yep. not going to use it right away. Put it in your freezer. If you think you might use it within the next week or two, keep it in your refrigerator. And I take it out. I put it either in my oven, low and slow, on a skillet, low mm -hmm. and slow, mm -hmm. till it glistens. Yes. Then do I just slice it up into cubes like we've done you here? You can, or you could do it cubes ahead of time. You can see we've got it cubed up here. Everybody gathers around like for the big game. Yeah. And it's something like, different. Oh, let me have a need. square of cheese. And you want a hot appetizer, but having a little bit of maybe marinara sauce to dip it in mm. or making a deconstructed grilled cheese up here. We've got cheese on the outside and bread on the inside oh, and that's a little cool. spit of soup to dip it in. I love the little sort of like kebab a like, kebab, right? If you're somebody that's like a caprese kebab, yeah, right? If you're mm -hmm. somebody that's doing the high protein diet right now, this is a fabulous, <sighs> delicious, comforting warm way to get your protein. Wow. May I just say, it all starts with milk. Yes. And you just whole held milk. up that block of cheese. It yes. starts out with whole milk. It takes, I have a half a gallon of milk right here. It takes almost a half a gallon, 60 ounces of fresh, whole Amish milk to make one 
block of this cheese. Amazing. All handmade, third generation uh, cheese makers up in Wisconsin. They have co-ops with Amish dairies. Small herds, still milk by hand in the old fashioned milk cans. Wow. Taking over to the factory where they make them. All of this process is by hand, cutting it by hand, making it by hand, finishing it off, toasting it up so that on the outside you see that caramelization that mm. gives it that nice little crisp. Yes. This in your the, mouth at the end. This is one of those things that you want to have in your freezer so that when the snow days hit, mm -hmm. you know, and you're like, oh my gosh, what am I going to make tonight? Ooh, let's sit around, let's rent a movie, let's make some appetizers. Yes. And you can make up this Usto cheese. And I loved your suggestions of the different sauces and things. And you can be really creative. You could do pestos if you wanted to. You could do the marinara. You could do a cocktail sauce. You could do something sort of Mexican inspired. I and mean, you could do all, dip it in salsa if you want to. You know, do this and have people grab one of these little baguette piece and a little piece of pepperoni or you don't even need the meat if you just do the bacon right on top mm -hmm. of a, a bruschetta would mm -hmm. be delicious so you're getting six total so 36 ounces of this Usto cheese you're getting two packs of the plain you're getting two packs with the crumbled bacon then you're getting two packs of those delicious Italian herbs and flavors really does taste like you just peeled the cheese off the top of a pizza dip it in some marinara sauce it's never been so good so stay on the line that's M5 Three six two three. Marie, thanks for being here. Nice to see you. Stay on the line if you're